Hey everyone, I'm Ultima4560, the Ultimates, and welcome to episode 97 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin. Alright, I'm down here because I wanted to check something um, in that area there, and then all of a sudden as I started running there, um, it said I was invaded by Dark Spirit Forlorn, so that's why I was there. Um, and now I'm going to go this way and try and get back to my buddy. <laughs> So apparently I'm invaded by Dark Spirit full on, but I don't know where the hell he is. I actually want to kill him too because he's going to give me some souls. Is this where I lost my body? No. Oh, I remember now. <laughs> wow, those sound effects. <laughs> where the hell is he? Drop down. Oh god. And I'm dead. That was fun. You see what happens? <laughs> Damn it. I actually don't know how much I lost there. Um, how much would it have been? Not much, right? Because I went to Majula, then I went there. Yeah, it wasn't that much. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, that's why those ladders are there, but nope. <laughs> I persist on doing things. Not the hard way necessarily, but the quick way. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> <laughs> Completely missed. Okay, good. Wait, where does that... Oh, for some reason I thought that was going to take me lower. And you know what? Let's stop not using this. I guess while I go through this, we'll talk about something. Um, I'll talk about like what I've been doing recently. So um, I've been playing uh, Dragon Ball Fighters, like I said um, several episodes ago. I couldn't wait until it came out and I've been playing it. Not too much, but I, I did play like a lot the first day, first and second day. I played as much as I could, um, and it's really cool. Like I, I love it, and I thought that. Like, so many people are saying, like, oh, the game's going to be so easy and so simple and, you know, the combo system's, like, um, well, not terrible, but it was, like, you know, just really, really simple. But then you actually get to play it and you start, like, working out how to do long combos and the, you know, the fans really, like, love working out how to do longer and longer combos and it's just, it's so good now. You know, the game's only been out for, what, like a week? Uh, what day is it? Today's the third, isn't it? Yeah, today's the 3rd, so it came out on the 26th, yeah, so just over a week. Um, and like, people have already uh, worked out all this like crazy stuff. It's just so cool. And I can't wait to see what they add in in the DLC as well. Um, it would be so cool to get, um, well I don't want to say it because it is a spoiler for Dragon Ball Super, but basically the thing that happened in Dragon Ball Super a few weeks ago and um, is to do <laughs> how can I put it uh, there's no way to explain this without saying it anyway I, I hope they add that in because that would be awesome um, and it seems like they might because I was like I don't know I was reading something or I saw something about um, like new moves in the game, which would be really cool, because the move list is like very limited at this stage. But um, yeah, to see that kind of stuff, man, it's gonna be awesome. All right, let's go through here. Um, the other thing that I've been playing is actually um, uh, it's a game. It's not that old, so a lot of people might actually know what game this is, but. I just like, I, one day I saw it and I was like, that game looks like exactly the kind of game that I like to play. Um, it's one of those games where you just play it every so often, and it's a game called Clicker Heroes, and basically all it is is you click. <laughs> you literally just click and click and click and click and click some more. Um, I, come on please, damn missed. I love like spamming like a button. I, I call it spamming, a lot of people call it mashing. Same difference, I guess. Um, please don't let me die. This might kill me. Oh, that was good. 
Um, I love doing it. Um, unfortunately, I have to play it on my phone because uh, even though that game is available on PS4, uh, there's a region lock with it. And for whatever reason, it's not available in Australia or New Zealand. Um, and being in Australia, I cannot download it. And there was something like, I don't know if it's possible to get around region locks. Um, so I know people say like you can make another account um, and then you can play it on there. But would it be possible to like still play it on my Australian account if I did that? So like if I made, an, uh, let's say, a US account on my current PS4 and then I made my Australian account my primary PS4, would I be able to use the content that I downloaded on the Australia, on the US account? Or, you know, play the content that's on the US account? If so, then I can obviously put it on my Australian account, but if not, then, you know, that sucks. <laughs> um, anyway, I really like the game. If you've never played it before, essentially it's just, it's literally just clicking, but um, it's very, like, the systems involved in the game are like, quite complex and it's really fun to kind of like work out how stuff works and you know what's effective and what's not effective so I, I don't know I just really like that sort of game um, okay let's have a look here so this is where things are gonna get a little bit tricky let's start here um, so the first thing you want to do is there's a secret here that's really easy to miss spam X there and you'll open a door don't worry about what's up here for the time being. Then just walk forward. And... Yep, and then roll through this. And you'll find a chest. And this chest contains a really, really, really important item. And that is the hollow skin, which is a, uh, it's a mask. And the mask, this mask allows you to, um... Hang on. To essentially prevent that curse that I was talking about. Um, so just jump down here. What it does is, um, there, it increases your curse resistance by a thousand. It says a hood imitating the head of a hollow, provides curse resistance and makes it easy to detect messages from other worlds. Finely crafted to perfectly imitate the head of a hollow, only without the abhorrent stench. Um, whoever created this was surely deeply respectful of those lost to hollowing. So yeah, we can use that later to, um, to make it easier to get through those curse areas. Well, make it possible, essentially. And he's gonna fall, isn't he? Yeah, of course he is. <laughs> All right, so actually probably didn't need to jump down in that section with the elevator, because it just led down here. Um, okay, let's go back up to where I just was. And the best way to do that is to wait for this thing to come back up. Simply take a step off. Step onto here. Uh, let's not go up to the top of that area just yet. Let's go over here and get to that door. It's quite. This this is where it's going to get a bit tricky because I'm going to go back and forward between areas um, to try and complete them as much as I possibly can. Okay, yeah, this area. Alright, so this guy sucks because there is, there's, um, those, uh, what are they, the Ashen Idols that you have to destroy with the, um, what is that thing called, Smelter Wedge? Um, if you don't destroy them, they heal these enemies, or they heal the enemies around them, uh, and... Because there's one that's really close to this guy, he gets healed. But luckily my weapon does enough damage to actually, you know, out DPS the heal. You just have to kind of wait around a little bit. He's going to heal sometimes, but that's just natural. If you can attack enough. There we go, you can get him before they out heal. But you got to kill him around the door. Um, okay, so let's open this. Examine, left, and then we're good with this one. And we're just gonna drop the piece of the soul. Cool. Alright, let's clear out the rest of this area. Pretty sure this is a dead end as well, so I'm actually glad that I did this door first. 
Um, okay, nothing on this one. I know the last one has something. This one has 10 Titanite shards, a petrified something, and a broadsword plus 7. Ooh, broadsword plus 7. Need that for Dark Souls 3. <laughs> um, nothing there. And then this one, this one has a like a slightly hidden item, which you could miss if you don't search hard enough. Five flame but butterflies, and then kind of just stand here-ish, aim that way, roll, and do it again. If you roll towards the the wall and then just tap left a little bit, it'll um, move him to the uh, to the boxes and then destroy them. Uh, another Titanite slab and three Titanite chunks, and then the final item is in here. And I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Life ring plus three. Okay. That's pretty good. How much does that increase my life by? I know that if I put it on, it's going to be annoying, but... Does it actually tell me? Oh, wow, that's huge. Like, 300 HP almost. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's that. Now we want to go... Let me go over there real quick. Before I go up, because I just want to check. So... Yeah, that's that, that's that. Okay, yeah. So we're going to go up this time. I think I want to go through there. Yep. I want to go here. Aha, this leads to the other part of the area that we were in before. Yes, you saw, right? That guy's, like, bow and arrow just, like, floated to the top of the, s the room and then... Um, just hit this and avoid it, and then just buy it on its own. <laughs> oh god, I should have gone here with a lot more health. Did I do it? <laughs> he is so annoying. Um, okay. Let's do this again. Old Radiant Life Gem. Whoa, man, that was fast. Uh, we can open this door now for a shortcut to the bonfire, which is nice. Uh, let's spin it one more time. Got it. I only got hit once. And then I did, yeah, I collected everything in that room. Let's go through here. Take a sip. Nothing there. And there is, I think it's a smelter wedge. Ah, Simpleton's ring, okay. Um, what is Simpleton's Ring? I forgot. Simpleton's Ring. Uh, makes wearer invisible while rolling. Ring depicting a simpleton's flower. Wearer becomes invisible while rolling. This ring was worn by the old soldiers of the old iron... By the soldiers of the old iron king, said to be blessed with divine protection. This ring only does one thing, but with ingenuity, it can be fearsomely effective. Hmm. You know what? I'm actually going to try something here. I don't think this is going to work, but it's worth a shot. So, invisible while rolling. Okay, so it's very similar to the one that we had in, um... In Dark Souls 3, was it? Or was it Bloodborne? I have no idea. Okay, it didn't seem to actually, like... Yeah, it, it just makes you invisible, doesn't make you invulnerable. Which is... A very particular distinction. Um, let's go over here. So, we've got the bonfire there. I just want to go over one final time where we've already been. So we can go probably... Yeah, we can go here. Not too difficult. Just do a little hop off. Don't even have to roll. Actually, I should probably change this back. Um, blue tear stone. Pilgrim's Spontoon. That might be a hard one to work out. Uh... There it is. Uh, Spontoon used by warriors on pilgrimage. Rather worn from the long journey it has doubtless seen. A spear which also doubles as a catalyst for sorceries, making it ideal, making it an ideal cho choice for the light-footed pilgrims. For light-footed pilgrims. Okay, so it's there. Let me just. Does it do anything special? No. Okay. So that's that. Uh, 
very close. I almost died. <laughs> Did I collect everything? I know I'm out of time. I just wanted to... Yeah, I've already gone through here, haven't I? Yes, I have. Okay, so it just leads there. And... Let me go up one more time. There's the other bonfire. So it was in here, wasn't it? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to go back to the bonfire here and we'll go the same way and we'll have another look next time to see if we collected everything. Alright, but for the time being, I want to thank you all for watching episode 97 of Let's Platinum Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin. My name is Ultima456, you're the Ultimates, and I'll see you next time.